Bring your best pitch. All right, if you say so, Jimmy taught me this one. It's called the Coach Rocco Pitcherooney. Nice pitch, Coach Rocco. <laughs> Summer camp is officially off to a great start. Yeah, I got to tell Jimmy about this pitcherooney thing. It really works. <laughs> Speaking of, where is Jimmy? Now's my chance. They don't suspect a thing. You see, I celebrate Sports Day a little differently with my brand new Turbo Time Water Blaster Rooney 5000. I'm gonna sneak up on those two and give them a little drink. <laughs> Friends, if you wanna see Jimmy the Great give Coach Rocco and Ellie a big super soak, then hit that thumbs up button. Jimmy! Is he late again? Jimmy, report to summer camp. Jimmy, report to summer camp. We're playing baseball. So, is this how you throw the old pitcher, Rooney? Yep, you twist your arm around twice and you let go right here. Oh, it sure is hot. I could use a glass of water. <laughs> Surprise! Whoa! Oh, Jimmy! Ah, gotcha! You two didn't even see it coming. That's why I've been camp champion three years in a row. Happy Sports Day! Jimmy's always blasting us with the water blaster. You okay, Coach Rocco? You need to dry off? Oh no, that felt great. I was just saying how thirsty I was, so it's pretty thoughtful of him to give me a drink. <laughs> According to my calculations, Coach Rocco and Ellie's swim lesson should be starting any second now. And when they come up to the pool, kablowie! Water blaster time! I've selected Mr. Quackles here to be my personal assistant. <laughs> All right, the swim lesson should be starting in about now. Ah, what a perfect day for a swim. I just got to change into my suit. What about you, Coach Rocco? Uh, I'm still drying off from Jimmy's blast of Rooney, so you go ahead, but I'll give you pointers about diving. All right. See, I told you. All right, let's go. Water blast! Ah! 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 <laughs> gotcha! This cinches it once and for all. Two times in the same day? You know what that means? Jimmy truly is the camp champion of water sports. Best sports day ever! <laughs> Jimmy! You know, Coach, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of Jimmy water blasting us. You know what? I think he should get a taste of his own medicine. I have a water blaster of my own. It's not as strong as Jimmy's, but I think it'll do the trick. Yeah, me too. And I have some water balloons secretly stashed in my office. Yeah, and I was saving them for a very special occasion. I don't see any other occasion more special than this. champion. Oh yeah, it's me. Boy, am I pooped. This has been a long day. Jimmy's work is never done. Some might think that it's easy to blast Coach Rocco and Ellie with the water blaster all day, but I beg to differ. I am beat. And to give myself a little treat after such a tiring affair, I have filled my water blaster with a delicious blueberry sports drink. Now I can drink it even faster. Mmm, delicious. Why doesn't everyone do this? Hey, what's up, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Don't blast me again. I just want to congratulate you on getting me and Coach Rocco earlier today. I mean, how many times did you get us? That was super funny. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. You should have seen your faces. You were all like, huh? And I was like, blast me! <laughs> good times, good times. Oh, hi, that. <laughs> Say, if you have a minute, why don't you go over to the gym with me? Coach Rocco has a treat for you over there. 
A treat, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Why do you want to give me a treat? Oh, let me guess. It's because... You're the best water blaster the camp has ever seen? Huh. Well, your story does make sense. I am the best water blaster this camp has ever seen. All right, sure. I'll take a treat. Let's go. Sure. Follow me. Be back <laughs> in a few minutes, Blasty. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> nice of Coach Rocco to invite me over for a snack, eh, Ellie? Mm -hmm. So what is it going to be? Hmm, maybe some ice cream? I don't know. Pizza? Well, your surprise is right through there, Jimmy. Why don't you go find out? I'll wait up front. <sighs> I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Hello? Gotcha, Jimmy! Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Nice try. I knew you were planning something. Sorry, Coach Rocco, but it takes years of experience to be able to handle one of those babies properly. You can only trust an expert like me. Looks like I'm still camp champion. Oh, Jimmy! Yes? <laughs> <laughs> I've been ambushed. I can't believe that you would break into Coach Rocco's secret water balloon stash like that. Well, I figure since you like splashing us so much, you should be able to take some of it yourself. Well, I guess that's true. All right, you got me. Fair and square. So, does that make me camp champion? Well, no, no, I'm still camp champion, but you did get me, so I guess you can be co-camp champion. <laughs> and I know one person for sure who definitely isn't camp champion. Coach, Coach Rocco. Rocco. I think I got this figured out. Ah! 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 Life preserver, life preserver. Hey, Ellie, check it out. I can control the weather with my hands. This is exactly how clouds make it rain. I'm making a mudslide. <laughs> that water was supposed to be for the plants that we're planting. Oh, I forgot about that Earth Day homework. Hey. Why do we need to plant new trees anyway? Look, there's tons around here. Well, sure, there are tons of trees around here, but did you know that we're cutting down lots and lots of trees every year? More trees than we're actually planting. So it's important that we start to plant trees every year as well. And did you know that trees help clean our air by breathing in carbon dioxide, which is bad for the environment, and breathing out oxygen, which is good for us. <laughs> and fun fact, there are more trees here on Earth than there are stars in the sky. Wow. I guess trees are pretty cool. Hey, do you have any extra seeds for me? Oh, sure do. Come over here. I have a hole I dug right next to mine. Awesome. Just for you, Jimmy. All right. All you have to do is bury your seed. Oh, but first, let me give it a little bit of that Jimmy magic, you know, before I plant it. Here comes the Jimmy seed a -rooney. Let me put my basketball on my seed first. That way I'll know it's mine. Stay right there, Mr. Seed. Don't you start growing on me. We're gonna get you some water. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea, Jimmy. <sighs> oh, Jimmy! I told him not to leave his basketball laying around. Now, where am I gonna plant this little beauty? <laughs> hey, well, this is a good spot, huh? Now that'll help you go grow nice and tall and strong. <laughs> Whoa, Ellie, check it out. My little seed, it's a tree already. Oh, I can't believe this. I told you I had mad Earth Day skills. Oh, how is this even possible? This must be some sort of miracle. Yeah, a miracle. Jimmy's Earth Day miracle. I like the sound of that. Hi, Coach Rocco. Guess what, Coach? I just planted a super seed. It went from a seed to a whole tree in like two minutes, all thanks to my expert planting techniques. <laughs> that sounds great, Jimmy. I'm so glad you're enjoying Earth Day this year. <laughs> Here, I have a new Earth Day activity for you. I'm taking all the rotten food out of the fridge and making a big compost pile out of it. 
compost. All I know about compost is when you take all the food that's about to go bad, pile it up in your backyard for all the worms to eat, and they turn it into nutritional food for plants. Compost! Exactly, Ellie. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely compost. Oh, you got any food for me to sample? Oh, Coach Rockle, why are you tasting all the food to see if it's going bad? Wouldn't it be easier to just smell it? Well, that's one way you could do it. <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. <laughs> well, I'm almost done here in the fridge. Why don't you two run upstairs and see if you could find anything else we can add to the compost? Okay, that sounds fun. All right, everyone. If you want to see what we can find in my bedroom, then make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Come on, Jimmy, let's do it. Bet you can't beat me upstairs. Compost, definitely compost. Okay, so I was looking online to see what exactly is compostable. And it turns out there's a lot of things other than food that you can use to make compost. Okay, so you can't use things like metal or plastic, but you can use things like Scrap paper from your arts and crafts. Ooh, Q-tips and cotton balls. And this is the coolest one. Even balloons. Balloons can even be made for compost. All right, I should be all good for composting. Look, it's me, the trash man. Whoa, did you know that toilet paper is compostable? Compostable, compost. Ready for the compost pile? And we have so much of it in the bathroom. We hit the jackpot. Well, I didn't know that, Jimmy, but we probably shouldn't be using things that we need. And Coach Rocco's gonna get pretty mad at us if we compost this toilet paper. Hmm, I guess you're right. Well, what can we compost instead? How about this old dress? That's definitely compostable. What about this old bear? No, we can't compost Sparkles the bear. He sleeps with me every night. And we can't compost all our clothes either because we wear them every day, Jimmy. And by the way, why are you looking just in my room? I'm sure there's plenty of compostable things in your room. Well, here's the thing. I already went through my room, and I can assure you, there is nothing to compost in there. I'm clean as a whistle. Oh, I gotta see that. <laughs> no, Ellie, come back. I'm telling you, there's nothing compostable. See, what I tell you? There's nothing to compost in here. It's perfectly clean. I just forgot to make my bed this morning. Hey, look, my basketball. That means it's time for a very special Earth Day Spinneroony. Whoa. Perfectly clean. Well, I guess there's nothing to compost in here after all, Jimmy. That's quite a shame because I thought that you were the Earth Day expert and that you would have much more to compost in here than I thought. Huh. Well, I guess there is one more place I could check. Behind the bed. What about this? Oh, a chicken wing. Mm, all right, I think that can be composted. Oh, what about this from last night? Oh, a pizza box is actually perfect. Oh, pizza box, that reminds me. I have one piece of pizza left. Oh, how old is that thing, Jimmy? <laughs> huh. It's either the pizza from last night or from last month. I don't know. Have anything else? It's been so good so far. Jimmy has really stepped it up this year. Not only have we learned how to help the environment, but we've also cleaned up a bunch around the place. <laughs> and to celebrate, mm -hmm. I baked this delicious mm -hmm. apple pie. <laughs> that looks so yummy. Oh boy, more compost. My beautiful crispy apple pie. Jimmy, that wasn't for composting, that was for eating. Oh, What's this no. I see here? A plastic bottle in the trash? You guys know better than that. You need to start recycling your disposables like Captain Earth Day expert Jimmy. Come on, I'll show you.
created a whole new system for the garbage that's sure to cut down on confusion. Listen closely. The paper goes in the green basket. The plastic goes in the blue basket. The bottle caps go in the red basket. The paper and plastic, when they're together, you know, that should go in the green basket, but only on Tuesdays. On Thursdays, it should go in the blue basket, unless, of course, it's a leap year, then it goes in the red basket. Wow, Jimmy, great job. I am so glad you did this, because we got all sorts of garbage that needs to be sorted out for recycling. <laughs> and since you're the expert, me and Ellie will leave you here to do it all by yourself. <laughs> yeah, and me and Coach Rocco will go back into the kitchen and make another apple pie, one that we won't be composting. <laughs> all right, Captain Earth Day expert, have fun with that. See you later. But wait a second, apple pie? Oh, that sounds yummy. Oh, what was that system again? Plastic in the green? I, I, the red! Oh no! What's up, Sparkle Squad? It's the first day of summer camp, and you know what that means! The pool's open! Last one in's a rotten egg! Whoa! Oh. Oh, actually, it looks a little bit cold. You know what, Ellie, on second thought, why don't you just jump in? Ladies first. Um, why don't we test it out together? Let's dip a toe in. Ooh, that's definitely cold. cold. So cold. Hello there, summer campers. I'm glad I caught you before you dived in. Coach Rocco did a boo-boo, and I forgot to turn on the pool heater. So no pool today. It's too cold. No, that's fine, Coach Rocco. Don't worry about it. I'll just play some Roblox on my phone instead. What other activities have we got lined up, Coach Rocco? Well, I figured we could uh, decorate the Christmas tree. <laughs> no, uh, have a snowball fight. Oh, hey, guys. Check out this super cool new challenge. Oh, I've heard about this. This is the scavenger hunt challenge. You're supposed to take three pictures of nature and then post on Instagram, and you'll win an all-you-can-eat pizza party. An all-you-can-eat pizza party? Oh, we got to do this challenge. Then I can show you all how many pieces of pizza I can eat. You just need to find these three things. A woodpecker, some long-lost treasure, and a beaver dam. And with all the forests and streams around here, we're sure to win! And we can use my cool flip phone! <laughs> Coach Rocco, I don't even think that phone has a camera. I sure it does. <laughs> Look. Boys and girls, if you want to help me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy win this all-you-can-eat pizza party, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Come on, team, let's head out! We got some pizza to win! Yay! <laughs> Where's Jimmy? He's supposed to help us find this woodpecker. Last I heard from Jimmy, he was supposed to help us find the long lost treasure part of the challenge. Well, we shouldn't be separated. These woods are dangerous. You never know what you'll find. It's not too dangerous. I mean, summer camp is right over there. You don't know. There could be an angry gorilla waiting up there. Or a hippopotamus with its mouth wide open. I assure you there are no gorillas or hippopotamuses. Around. Giraffes. Giraffes? No giraffes. Bears! Well, maybe bears. <laughs> What's that? It's a bear! I don't think that's a bear. What is that? Uh-oh. It's... It's... What? Run! Uh, oh, no need to run, Ellie. It's a kitty cat. How are you doing? You shouldn't be out here all on your own. It's dangerous. <laughs> what gorgeous colors you have. Aww. Coach! Coach! Wait, Coach? Oh, I must have ran so far and so fast I must have lost him. I hope he's doing okay with that skunk. Coach is right. These woods can be a little bit dangerous. I should probably stay on the edge of the woods. Wait, do you hear that? Huh, sounds like somebody hammering a nail up a tree. Gotta check this out. Oh, wow, look at that! It's a woodpecker! It's so pretty! Look at all its colors and that beak. That must be what that hammering noise was earlier. The woodpecker is using his beak to hammer into the tree to find insects to eat. Unfortunately, woodpeckers are endangered, which means there are far less now than there were before. That means we have to be responsible and make sure that we protect these little creatures. <laughs> and that means staying far away from them and only taking photos of them if we want to keep a memory of them. All right, time to take this picture of the woodpecker before it flies away. 
zooming in. Got it. Step one of the scavenger hunt complete. Ellie, Ellie, look what I found. Hi, Jimmy. Is that a metal detector? I call it a treasure finder. I tried to ask Coach Rocco to show me how to use it, but he's too busy playing with Stinky the Cat. Stinky the Cat? You mean Stinky the Skunk? And Coach is playing with it? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't figure out how this works. Well, I've seen Coach Rocco use this to find loose coins in the yard. Basically, all I have to do is turn these little knobs right here. There we go. <gasps> and when it beeps, <laughs> that's when you know you found something. Awesome. Did you find anything yet? Well, how about now? When it beeps, Jimmy. Anything? Are you sure it's working? Anything? When it beeps! Anything? What about now? Anything? Jimmy. Anything yet? Jimmy. Oh, come on. I thought I heard something. Anything? Jimmy, wait. Are you sure? Jimmy. Anything? What about now? What Jimmy! About now? <gasps> Do you hear that? <gasps> that means that there's something under here, and it could be long lost treasure. Treasure, here I come. <laughs> oh, come to Jimmy. We're rich, I tell you. They're jewels, Ellie. They're jewels. What? This looks more like a girly bracelet, not treasure. Jimmy, that's my old bracelet from last year that I thought I'd lost. Oh my gosh, I was so sad when I lost it. This truly is long lost buried treasure. Quick, take a photo of it. All right, say cheese. Cheese? <laughs> awesome. Step two of the scavenger hunt complete. All right, well, you can keep your girly treasure. I'm off to find some big boy treasure. We're gonna be rich, I tell you. We can live like kings. But Jimmy, we have one last step of the scavenger hunt to do. <sighs> oh well, I gotta go do it by myself. Oh, with the help of you, Sparkle Squad. Yay! Next we have to find a beaver dam. Well, I know beavers like to build dams near water, so let's find a pond or stream nearby. Come on, let's do this. So this is the longest stream I can find on campgrounds. Hmm, beavers like to build their dams along streams, so this should be the perfect place. Mr. Beaver, where are you? Hmm, let me take a look. Oh, I think I see one over there. Yep, that's a beaver all right. It looks like he's finding sticks to build his dam. Did you know that beavers can hold their breath for 15 minutes underwater? That is longer than me, Coach Rocco, and Jimmy put together. They're so cool. Let's get closer. Oh, what's that over there? I think I see it. It's the beaver dam. Beaver dams are awesome. Firstly, because beavers use their big teeth to chop up small trees to make it. And it's a place to store their food, and it's a home for them to sleep in. <laughs> Gotta take a picture. Thanks, Mr. Beaver. Got it. That's one, two, three shots uploaded. And that means we won the scavenger hunt challenge. Yay! I'm so hungry for pizza, I gotta tell the others. <laughs> Ellie, there you are. You're not gonna believe this. Oh, you give me that. Ow! Oh, that's much better. Turns out my cat that Coach Rocco spent all day with wasn't a cat after all. It's really a skunk, and he really is stinky, too. Yeah, stinky allowed me to believe he was a cat all day, and then he had the nerve to spray me. I was sprayed and betrayed. <laughs> Today is a terrible day. To make things worse, I didn't find any buried treasure either. All I found was an old shoe. I guess that means we don't win the scavenger hunt, huh? Well, while you guys were getting sprayed and finding shoes in the yard, I've actually been the one completing the scavenger hunt challenge. You know what? It was pretty hard, but you know what this means? Pizza! Now I can finally show you how many slices I can eat. Yeah! It just goes to show when you're focused on your goals, you can achieve anything. But before mm. you can eat any more, 
I need you to do one more last thing. Take a bath, please, especially you, go, Draco. Oh, well, I heard that when you get sprayed, you can take a bath in tomato sauce, and that gets rid of the smell. So maybe if I take some pizza and rub it on myself, that'll, that'll help, right?